Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to this wonderful Wednesday, the last Wednesday of the month of March. Awesome God. Today is the 30th of March, 2022. We've had quite a very productive month and I believe that God is setting you up for more greatness in the name of Jesus. We're looking today at the topic, the glorious benefits of waiting on God. Now scripture says, in that day shall the Lord of hosts be for a crowd of glory and for a diadem of beauty unto the residue of the people and for a spirit of judgment to him that seated in judgment and for strength to them that turn the battles to the gate. Awesome. Isaiah chapter 28 and verse 5. Thought for the day. What you expect determines what you experience. It is abundantly clear from scriptures that every time we sincerely seek God in prayer and in fasting, we must see results. It is also important to be expectant anytime we come before God's presence in prayers. What you expect determines what you experience. So we will consider four things to expect whenever we engage in prayer and fasting. The first is a crown of glory. It is not possible to approach God and not encounter glory for the termination of shame. Moses waited on God for 40 days and there was glory saturation all over his face. Exodus 34, 29. Number two is the diadem of beauty. God beautifies people who spend time with him. Psalm 50 and verse 2. 19 verse 16 to 17. Number three is the spirit of judgment. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. When we come before God, we connect with the mantle of judgment to deal with evil altars and the powers of hell. 1 Kings chapter 17 verse 1. And fourthly is strength for battles. Many people have been victims of spiritual warfare, of ancestral battles, and so on and so forth. Why? Because their strength is small. Proverbs 24, 10. But when we come before God's presence in prayer, we receive strength to win the battles of life. So, beloved, receive strength to overcome the devil and end the battle that defeated your family, all your uh, ancestral lineage that were defeated. Receive the strength to overcome them in Jesus' name. Remember this, that what you expect determines what you experience. I believe that the Lord shall grant us victory in Jesus' name. What's our assignment today? Number one, make demands on the grace for ceaseless prayer life. Number two, engage in consecrational fast at least once in a week. Praise God. Let's pray. Say after me, Lord, I receive the grace to wait on you. Overwhelm me with your glory and beauty. Cause every battle in my life and family to end by your power. In Jesus' name, praise the Lord. I'd like to pray with you today. You want to be born again. You want Jesus to be the Lord of your life. It's so, it's such a blessing to exist with Jesus. I'd like you to pray this after me, meaning from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please you, O God, in Jesus' name. Amen. And I'd like to close by wishing you a happy birthday. It's your birthday today. God bless you. God cause his face to shine on you. God be gracious unto you. May you experience God's favor in this new year you're entering. And may help come from above in Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Music